Good afternoon. Today I would like to introduce you the next pharmacology lecture, Drugs Acting on CNS, Part 3. Lecture Plan General Considerations Drugs used in mental illness, antipsychotic and antimanic drugs, drugs used in mental illness, antidepressant and anti anxiety drugs, CNS stimulants and cognition enhancers. Let's start from general considerations. Clinical task. Find an item that unites all these people. Abraham Lincoln, Vincent van Gogh, Ernest Hemingway, Ludwig van Beethoven, Isaac Newton. Abraham Lincoln suffered from trance to melancholy, felt strong, exhausting depression. Vincent van Gogh suffered from bipolar disorder, epilepsy, schizophrenia. He was a beautiful writer, wrote hundreds of letters. Hypergraphy, a condition associated with epilepsy when a person feels an irresistible desire to write. Ernest Hemingway suffered from depression and alcoholism. He, the same as Van Gogh, committed suicide. Father, brother, sister and granddaughter of Ernest did the same in their lives. Ludwig van Beethoven suffered from bipolar disorder, was a gifted child which was beaten by father. Exactly the beatings could have led him to hearing loss. Periods of energy and creativity changed with periods of loneliness and depression. He tried to treat himself with opium and alcohol. Isaac Newton. It was very much difficult for him to talk. In his behavior often happened differences in mood. He suffered from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. So the answer is, all these people suffered from mental illnesses despite they were great. Importance of the topic. The drugs in this lecture are related to the group of psychotropic drugs. From Greek psia, soul, spirit, consciousness, tropos, direction. They selectively regulate mental functions, especially emotions, thinking, memory, behavioral motivation, and psychomotor activity. Drugs of this group have been used to treat psychosis, depression, neurotic states, mental retardation, as well as in mentally healthy people to reduce anxiety, emotional stress, and fatigue. According to the World Health Organization, neurosis and psychopathy occur in 5-15% to of the population, depression in 5, schizophrenia in 0.5. Psychotropic drugs are taken by 30% of the adult population of developed countries. History of psychopharmacology In 1952, the French psychiatrist Jean Delay, in the Paris hospital Val de Grasse, successfully applied chlorpromazine for the treatment of a young man suffering from schizophrenia with attacks of mania. Together with Pierre de Niquer, began widely use of chlorpromazine for the treatment of the mentally ill at St. Anne's Hospital in Paris. The revolution in psychiatry swept across continental Europe. In USSR, chlorpromazine, or aminazine, was synthesized in 1955 and studied by academic Mashkovsky and his employees. In 1959, haloperidol. In 1966, sulpiride. In 1968, atypical neuroleptic clozapine. In 1980-1990s, many modern neuroleptics have been introduced into the clinical practice, correcting the negative symptoms in patients with schizophrenia and not causing extrapyramidal disorders. About them we will talk a little later today. Differences between neurosis and psychosis. The question, is there a psychoneurosis? Let's discuss. Psychosis. Mental disorders, the beginning is imperceptible, patients don't realize that they are sick, deep personality changes, rarely cured. Neurosis, disorders of emotions and autonomic emergency, often there is a specific cause, for example stress, trauma. The patient is aware of his condition, personality doesn't change reversibility and curability. So the answer. These are separate diseases, each with its own pathogenesis and fundamentally different drugs for the treatment. Please remember this. 
causes of the occurrence of psychosis and how they manifest themselves. Psychosis is the result of disorders of nigrostriatal, mesolimbic, and mesocortical systems as a result of excessive activity of dopaminergic and adrenergic systems. Clinically, psychosis is manifested. Productive symptoms, delusions and hallucinations, negative symptoms, general inhibition, anxiety, depression, non-contact with other people, decreased emotional tone, etc. Classification of psychotropic drugs. First, psychotropic drugs with the depressing type of action, neuroleptics, tranquilizers, sedatives. Second, psychotropic with stimulating type of action, antidepressants, psychomotor stimulants, nootropic drugs, adaptogens, actoprotectors, and third, normotemic drugs. So the next part of our lecture is drugs used in mental illnesses, antipsychotic and antimanic drugs. Classification of antipsychotic and antimanic drugs, we may also call them neuroleptics, by generation. First generation drugs, typical, preferably D2 receptors blockers, low potency chlorpromazine, tioridazine, high potency flufenazine, haloperidol. Second generation drugs are typical blockers of D2 and 5-HT2A receptors. Clozapine, risperidone, olanzapine, quetiapine. Third generation drugs are typical D2 receptors partial agonists and 5-HT2A receptors blockers. Aripiprazole. Classification of them by chemical structure. Derivates of phenotiazine, aminazine, levomepromazine, fluorofenazine, triptazine, tioridazine, derivates of tioxantine, chloroprotixan, derivates of butyrophenone, haloperidol, droperidol, derivates of dibenzodiazepine, clozapine, olanzapine, substitute benzamides, sulpiride, and derivates of benzoxazole, risperidone. Classification by the mechanism of action. Typical neuroleptics cause syndrome of Parkinsonism. First, derivates of phenotiazine, aminazine, levomepromazine, chlorophenazine, trifluperazine, tioridazine. Second, derivates of tioxantine, chloroprotexine, derivates of butyrophenone, haloperidol, droperidol. And atypical neuroleptics. First, derivates of dibenzodiazepine, clozapine, olanzapine. Second, substitute benzamides, sulpiride. Third, derivates of benzoxazole, risperidone. Mechanism of antipsychotic action of neuroleptics. First, impact on dopamine receptors. Blockade of D2 dopamine receptors localized in mesolimbic and mesocortical areas of the brain. Second, impact on serotonin receptors, blockade of 5-HT2A cortex of the large hemispheres, reduces the negative deficient symptoms of psychosis, aggression, depression, improves cognitive functions. Blockade of 5-HT2C causes anti-anxiety effect, increases appetite. Activation of 5-HT1 enhances the antipsychotic effect, reduces negative symptoms, depressive and extrapyramidal disorders. Mechanism of action leading brain systems. Dopamine pathway. You can see in here 1, 2, 3 and 4. First, nigrostriatal, movement control. Second, mesolimbic, behavior, hyperactivity. Third, mesocortical, cognitive effects. Four, tubero infundibular prolactin secretion. Serotonin pathways. You can see in here one, two, three, four, five. Seam prefrontal cortex depression cognitive disorders. Seam basal ganglia movement control obsessive compulsive disorder. Seam limbic system emotion control anxiety memory panic. Seam hypocampus behavior is related to food. 
and fifth, seam spinal tract, sexual behavior. Basic pharmacodynamic effects of neuroleptics. First, pre-resorptive action, local irritant, local anesthetic. Second, resorptive action, central effects, antipsychotic action, eliminate productive symptoms of psychosis, delusions, hallucinations. Eliminate the negative symptoms of psychosis, aggression, irritation, isolation. Decreased psychomotor arousal, cause indifference, emotional inertia, reduce conditioned reflex activity. Other effects, calming effect, muscle relaxing effect, hypothermic action, antiemetic effect, elimination of hiccups, potentiation effect on other neurotropic drugs, Reduction of the inhibitory effect of dopamine on prolactin production. Peripheral effects. Influence on the autonomic nervous system, m blocking and alpha blocking. Effects on the CVS, antihypertensive effect, antiarrhythmic action and decrease in pressure in a small circle of blood circulation. Influence on the gastrointestinal tract, hyposecretory, normalizes peristalsis. Effects on the respiratory system, bronchodilator, dose-dependent effect on respiratory rate and death, and antihistamine and antiserotonin action. Those which are marked with star in here and in here, these are mainly characteristic of typical neuroleptics. Key differences between typical and atypical neuroleptics. Pharmacological differences for typical preferred blockade of D2 receptors, and atypical, balanced blockade of D2 and 5-HT2A receptors. Clinical differences, for typical, predominant influence on positive symptoms, no effect on negative symptoms, formation of secondary negative symptoms, significant side effects. Atypical, impact on positive and negative symptoms, lack of formation of secondary negative symptoms, less pronounced side effects. Indications for use. Psychosis, endogenous and exogenous, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, manic depressive psychosis, manic phase, reactive psychosis, etc. Severe forms of neurosis, hypertensive disease, hypertensive crisis, Myocardial infarction with pronounced excitation, pain syndrome simultaneously with antihistamines and analgesics, premedication before surgery and certain surgical procedures, in order to potentiate the action of hypnotics, anticonvulsants, muscle relaxants, narcotic analgesics, and other depressants in certain clinical situations, malignant hyperthermia, vomiting and nausea of central origin. Once again, those which are marked with stars are mainly the characteristics of typical neuroleptics. Clinical guidelines for use of neuroleptics. In general, atypical second-generation antipsychotics are preferred. There is no unconditional leader among second-generation antipsychotics. The specific choice of drug is made taking into account the profile of side effects and the clinical situation. The second line of therapy should be another drug of the first or second generation. Third line therapy, clozapine, which remains the drug of choice for the treatment of resistant forms of the disease. Fourth line of therapy, a combination of a first or second generation drug with clozapine or electroconvulsive therapy. Adverse reactions that can occur in medical use of neuroleptics. Extrapyramidal disorders, lowering of blood pressure, arrhythmias, fever, decrease or increase in body temperature, spontaneous movements of the muscles of the face and upper extremities, dyspeptic phenomena, dysuric phenomena, wandering pain and paresthesia, accommodation violations, blood changes, leukopenia, erythropenia or agranulocytosis, Increased blood clotting. Toxic lesions of the liver parenchyma, jaundice. Allergic lesions of the skin and mucous membranes, 
erythromatous papular dermatitis, glossitis, quinquis edema, diabetes mellitus, other reversible endocrine disorders, weight gain up to obesity, menstrual irregularities, decreased potency, etc. Dysproteinemia, pigmented retinopathy, optic nerve atrophy, nephrotic syndrome, m blocking effects, decreased secretion of salivary, bronchial and digestive glands, intestinal paresis, tachycardia. Once again, those which are with star, in here and in here, these are the mainly characteristics of typical neuroleptics. So, and as we mentioned before about extrapyramidal disorders, these are the symptoms, artificial symptoms of medical Parkinsonism. It is not Parkinson disease, it is due to the usage of neuroleptics. For the treatment of extrapyramidal disorders, levodopa is contraindicated because it diminishes therapeutic effect of neuroleptics. 3-hexafenidyl is the drug of choice in cases of extrapyramidal disorders, which may appear with the use of neuroleptics. So once again, the symptoms of Parkinsonism as the side effect of them. The next part of our lecture is drugs used in mental illnesses, antidepressant and anti-anxiety drugs. World Health Organization is declaring that 3 to 10% of Earth's population suffer from depression. Adults 10%, teenagers 8%, children 3%. Depression and somatic vegetative symptoms which accompany depression are quite often psychical disorders which occur in general medical practice. There are endogenous psychogenic depression, schizophrenia, maniac depressive psychosis, bipolar disorder, and secondary somatogenic depression, organic diseases, oncology patients, hypertension, ulcer disease, climacteric disorders, etc. More than 50% of patients with depressive disorders don't realize that they have any psychological problems and complain only on certain somatic discharges. Most frequent complaints of patients with depression, feeling of hopelessness, indifference, fear, panic attacks, tiredness, weakness, headache, dizziness, dream disorders, dyspepsia, unpleasant feelings and pain in different parts of the body. Depressive conditions mask as vegetal vascular, neurocirculative dystonia, various vegetative disorders, gastrointestinal pathology, pathology of cardiovascular system, respiratory systems, manifest as dyskinesia, functional motor disorders, insomnia, toothache, disorders of sexual activity, eczema, and many other disorders. Monoamine oxidase. You may remember it from the lecture of adrenergic drugs. Monoamine oxidase is a mitochondrial enzyme involved in the oxidative deamination of biogenic amines. Adrenaline, noradrenaline, dopamine, 5-HT. There are two isoenzyme forms of monoamino oxidase have been identified. Monoamino oxidase A preferentially deaminates 5-HT and noradrenaline, is inhibited by chlorgilin and moclobamide, and monoamino oxidase B preferentially deaminates phenylethylamine and selignin. Dopamine is degraded equally by both isoenzymes. Distribution of these isoenzymes also differs. Peripheral adrenergic nerve endings, intestinal mucosa and human placenta contain predominantly monoamino oxidase A. Monoamino oxidase B predominates in certain areas, mainly serotonergic, of brain and in platelets. Liver contains both isoenzymes. Classification of antidepressant drugs. First, Reversible inhibitors of monoamine oxidase A, RIMAS. Second, tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, which are subdivided into noradrenaline 5-HT reuptake inhibitors and predominantly noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors. Third, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs. Fourth, 
serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, and fifth, atypical antidepressants. Examples of drugs, reversible inhibitors of monoamino oxidase A, RIMAS, moclobemide, and chlorgiline. Tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, from noradrenaline 5-HT reuptake inhibitors, imipramine, amitriptyline, trimipramine, doxepine, dotiepine, and clomipramine, and from predominantly noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors, desipramine, nortriptyline, amoxapine, reboxetine. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, fluoxetine, fluvoxamine, paroxetine, sertraline, citalopram, escitaloram, dapoxetine. Serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, venlafaxine, duloxetine. And atypical antidepressants, trazodone, mianserine, mirtazapine, bupropion, tianeptine, amineptine, and atomoxetine. Uses of antidepressants, schizophrenia, myelodysplastic syndrome, MDS, atherosclerosis of brain, reactive depressions, Parkinsonism, organic diseases of CNS, oncology patients, general somatic diseases. Psychotropic action of antidepressants. First, drugs with psychosedative action, amitriptyline, maprotiline, fluvoxamine, Second, drugs with psychostimulative action, imipramine, nealamide, fluoxetine. And third, drugs with regulative influence, pirlindol. Principles of antidepressants usage. Endogenic depression. The deeper it is, the larger the doses, rate of their increasing and duration of treatment should be administered. Step-by-step -step dose increasing till obtaining of effect. Administration of effective dose during 4-6 weeks, 3-6 months. Gradual decreasing of dose during 5-6 weeks. Effect can appear only after 7-14 to 14 days after beginning of therapy. This fact should be taken into consideration in patients with suicidal dispositions. In case of rapid abolishing, withdrawal syndrome may develop. Side effects of antidepressants m blocking action Dry mouth, increasing of intraocular pressure, disturbance of accommodation, constipation, ischuria, important in a case of adenoma of prostatic gland, tremor, hallucinations, disorders of consciousness, excitation, alpha-adrenal blocking, papaverine-like effect, acute hypotension, orthostatic collapse, especially in combination of amitriptyline with clonidine, clofilin, for correction of which adrenomimetics cannot be used. It is necessary to increase volume of circulating blood, put the legs up. Acute attacks of epilepsy, cardiotoxic action, sudden death, three cyclic antidepressants increase arrhythmogenic activity of drugs for general anesthesia, antihistamines, etc. Combination of three cyclic antidepressants with MAO inhibitors is absolutely contraindicated. Danger of development of hypertensive crisis, seizures, rapid excitation, tachycardia, cardiac arrhythmias, increasing of temperature. Rules of transferring from one kind of antidepressant to another. From three cyclic to MAO inhibitor, break time two, three days. From MAO inhibitor to three cyclic, Break time not less than two weeks. It is absolutely contraindicated to administer adrenosympato mimetics in case of treatment with antidepressants. Even small doses of adrenomimetic substances in such patients can cause hypertensive crisis.
For example, nose drops for rhinitis, nasal decongestants. If few drops were added to solutions of local anesthetics to prolong the duration of action of local anesthetics. In case of administration of drugs which contain pseudoephedrine, they are widely used for common cold nowadays. Diet in a case of administration of MAO inhibitors. It is necessary to exclude such products which contain DOPA and tyramine, which is formed from casein during the process of transforming under the influence of bacteria. Aged cheese, kefir, marinated herring, smoked meat, fish, red wine, beer, yeast, beans, oranges, tangerines, lemons, grape, bananas, chocolate, caviar, red and black, and others. Any basic amino acids are also dangerous. In case of treatment with MAO inhibitors, new products should be introduced into ration very carefully. And here you can see the pictures of those products which I mentioned. In case of administration of inhibitors of serotonin uptake, the previously indicated side effects are observed much more rarely. Administration of antidepressants with any other drugs should be performed only after precise studying of possible negative consequences of their interaction. The next big pharmacological group for today is anti-anxiety drugs. We may also call them anxiolytics or tranquilizers. Anti-anxiety drugs, anxiolytic tranquilizers, one of the most popular classes of drugs. 90% of people in developed countries occasionally take tranquilizers, 20% are treated with them constantly. The use of tranquilizers is growing from year to year. This is due to their high therapeutic efficiency and relative safety in neurotic conditions and in healthy people during periods of severe anxiety, stressful situations. Classification of anti-anxiety drugs. First, benzodiazepines, diazepam, chlordiazepoxide, oxazepam, lorazepam, alprazolam. Second, azapirones. Buspirone, Gepirone, Ispapirone. Third, sedative antihistaminic, Hydroxyzine. Fourth, beta blockers, Propranolol. And here you can see some examples of anti anxiety drugs. Let's start from benzodiazepines and their mechanism of action. You can see the states A, B, and C. In A, receptor empty, no agonists. Empty receptor is inactive and the coupled chloride channel is closed. B, receptor binding GABA. Binding of GABA causes the chloride ion channel to open, leading to hyperpolarization of the cell. C, receptor binding GABA and benzodiazepine. Binding of GABA is enhanced by benzodiazepine, resulting in a greater entry of chloride ion. Entry of chloride hyperpolarizes the cell, making it more difficult to depolarize and therefore reduces neural excitability. Duration of action of benzodiazepine derivates Long-lasting diazepam, phenazepam, clozapid Average lasting, lorazepam, alprazolam, and short duration of action, midazolam. Clinical classification of benzodiazepines. Night tranquilizers, classical, which eliminate fear, anxiety, and have a hypnotic effect. Phenazepam, diazepam, clonazepam, nitrazepam, and chlordiazepoxide. And daytime tranquilizers have a psychostimulant effect, weak hypnotic and muscle relaxant effect, enhance brain activity. Hidazepam, chlorazepate, ethylmethylhydroxypyridine succinate, clobazam, medazepam, buspiron. Uses of benzodiazepines. Anxiolytic action. 
Treatment of neurosis accompanied by fear, anxiety, exertion, increased irritability, insomnia. In case of headache and heart pain of neurotic origin, so-called organic neurosis. In case of abstinence in alcohol and drugs addicts. In case of deencephalus crisis, diazepam. Benzodiazepines do not diminish productive symptoms of psychosis. Please remember this. Their hypnotic action uses. They cause sleep, which is very close to physiological one according to its parameters. For example, nitrazepam, diazepam, phenazepam, chlordiazepoxide. Their anti-seizure and mere relaxant action. Depression of CNS structures. Breaking polysynaptic spinal reflexes. Diazepam and phenazepam. In a case of seizures of any etiology. Epileptic status, tetanus, poisoning with seizure causing poisons. Diazepam is introduced intravenously, intramuscularly. 2-4 ml of 0.5% solution repeatedly. Maximum daily dose, 14 ml in this concentration. To eliminate muscle tension in a case of radiculitis, arthritis, myositis, bursitis. And here you can see the example of seizures, tetanus. Side effects of benzodiazepines. First, psychological and physical addiction. Prophylaxis. Duration of treatment course should not be more than two months. Repeated course, not earlier than after three weeks break. Second, sleepiness, reeling walk, retarded reactions. Benzodiazepines, especially night ones, should not be administered to people whose professions are connected with quick reactions. Third, paradoxical reaction of excitation, insomnia. Fourth, dizziness, decreasing of libido, disturbances of menstrual cycle. Fifth, uncontrolled urination, defecation, ataxia, dysarthria. And six, acute poisoning in case of overdosing. So, poisoning, overdosing. They have a large breadth of therapeutic action and therefore rarely cause acute poisoning with fatal outcome. Anyway, in a case of poisoning arise hallucinations, articulation disorders, nystagmus, ataxia, muscle atony. After that, sleep, coma, respiratory depression, depression of cardiac activity, prolapse occur. Specific antidote for benzodiazepine poisoning, flumazenil, benzodiazepine receptor antagonist. At a dose of 1.5 mg, it interacts with 50% of benzodiazepine receptors. 15 mg of flumazenil completely block benzodiazepine allosteric center. The drug is injected into a vein slowly, trying to avoid the symptoms of rapid awakening excitement, disorientation, convulsions, tachycardia, vomiting. In poisoning with benzodiazepines of long action, it is entered repeatedly. Combination of tranquilizers with alcohol-containing drinks is absolutely contraindicated. Pathological alcohol intoxication. And one more slide about benzodiazepines is their special danger. Development of mental and physical dependence. More often than others cause chlordiazepoxide and diazepam. The risk increases when alcohol and drug abuse, in patients with personality psychopathology, with increasing doses, with long-term treatment, two months or more. The next group is serotonin receptor agonists, buspiron. Mechanism of action. Partial agonist of 5-HT1A receptors. First phase. Stimulation of presynaptic 5-HT1A receptors. Latent period 1 to weeks. Second phase. Stimulation of postsynaptic 5-HT1A receptors. Full clinical effect at 4 weeks. Important differences with benzodiazepines. Buspirone and benzodiazepines. For example, mechanism of action. 
Buspiron is partial agonist of 5-HT 1A receptors, benzodiazepines, binding of GABA to post-synaptic GABA receptors, opens a chloride-selective ion pore that is an integral component of the multimeric receptor complex. Next one, sedative, muscle relaxant, anticonvulsant effects. Buspiron doesn't have, benzodiazepines have. Stimulating, activating effects. Buspiron has got, benzodiazepines doesn't. Development of tolerance, addiction and abstinence syndrome. Buspiron doesn't have, benzodiazepines has got. One more representative is a histamine receptor antagonist, hydroxyzine. Mechanism of action. First of all, H1 histamine receptor antagonist and second antagonist of m receptors. Pharmacological effects. Anxiolytic, tranquilizing, antiallergic antihistamine, the main metabolite of cetirizine, third, sedative, fourth, muscle relaxant, fifth, antiemetic, sixth, antipruritic, 7th bronchodilator, 8th potentiating. Indication for use of hydroxyzine. Anxiety disorders, anxiety, fear, premedication, sleep disorders, alcohol withdrawal syndrome, itching with allergies. It doesn't cause addiction and abstinence syndrome. And the next part of our lecture is CNS stimulants and cognition enhancers. First group is psychomotor stimulants. They are classified to derivates of purine, caffeine, phenylalkylamines, amphetamine or phenamine, and phenylalkylsidnonimines, mesocarp or sidnocarp. In here you can see caffeine. In here, mesocarb or sidnocarb. Properties of psychomotor stimulants. Stimulate intellectual activity, speed of thinking processes, temporarily eliminate tiredness, somnolence. Eliminate such manifestations of neurosis as subdepression, fatigue, retardness. Aren't able to eliminate androgen depression which accompanies psychical diseases. Also one more interesting indication of psychomotor stimulants on which I would like to stop. ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, more frequently in children. It is cured by potent stimulators, methylphenidate, dextroamphetamine and others. They all can provoke addiction. I would like to remind you the point of amphetamine abuse, which we discussed in previous lectures. Adverse negative effects of methamphetamine, as an example, on the function organs. Please pause this slide and revise this information nicely. Caffeine. Related to the group of methylxanthines along with theophylline and theobromine is found in different sources. For example, tea leaves, content of caffeine is 50 mg in an average cup of tea, content of theophylline is 1 mg in an average cup of tea. Coffee seeds, caffeine, around 75 mg is found in an average cup of coffee. Theobroma cacao, cocoa, chocolate, theobromine, around 200 mg is found in an average cup of cocoa, Caffeine, around 4 mg in an average cup of cocoa. And cola acuminata, guru nuts, caffeine is found around 30 mg in 200 ml bottle of cola drink. Mechanism of action. Adenosine receptor antagonist. Binds to adenosine purine receptor in the brain. Endogen ligand of these receptors, adenosine, decreases processes of excitation in CNS. And inhibition of phosphodiesterase, which leads to accumulation of CMP and stimulation of many physiological processes and metabolism. 
Usage of psychostimulating influence of caffeine. First, for stimulation of psychological processes, workability to eliminate somnolence. Second, anuresis, narcolepsy. Third, in case of poisoning with alcohol. And fourth, to speed up awakening after narcosis. Influence of caffeine on cardiovascular system. Vessels. Stimulation of vasomotor center, contraction of vessels, increasing of arterial pressure. Second, peripheral myotropic spasmolytic action, dilation of vessels, decreasing of arterial pressure. Heart, central action, increasing of nervous vagus tone, bradycardia. And peripheral action, direct influence on heart, tachycardia, possible extrasystoles. As a result, Contraction of brain vessels, dilation of coronary vessels, dilation of kidney vessels, increasing of diuresis. In case of depression of centers of brain stem, medulla oblongata, caffeine shows stimulating properties, increases blood pressure, stimulates breathing, analeptic action. And as we mentioned, analeptic action, in here are some examples of some classical analeptics. For example, bamigrid, camphor, and cordiamine. Side effects of caffeine. If administered regularly, psychological addiction, teism, which is accompanied by development of abstinence syndrome, retardness, fatigue, somnolence, depression. Tolerance, teratogenic action, innate abnormalities, Increasing of frequency of ischemic heart disease, essential hypertension. Acute attacks of ulcer disease, it increases gastric secretion. Acute poisoning in case of overdosing. The next group is nootropic drugs or neurometabolic cerebroprotectors. Nootropic drugs. Classification. Derivates of pyrolidone, piracetam. Derivates of GABA, aminalone, sodium oxybutyrate, neuropeptides, melatonin, tetracosactide, cerebrovascular drugs, nisergoline, vinpocetine, cinerizine, pentoxifiline, xantinonicotinate, derivates of pyridoxine, pyritinol, antioxidants, ethylmethylhydroxypyridine succinate, tocopherol acetate, and others, cerebrolizine, Actovegin, which is deproteinized dialysate from calf blood, and plant preparations. Properties of nootropic drugs Improvement of brain blood circulation, promotion of collateral development, psychostimulating effect, antiasthenic action, sedative, antidepressant action, antiepileptic, antiparkinsonian action, nootropic action mnemotropic action, vasovegetative action, and antihypoxic action. Uses of nootropic drugs Atherosclerosis of brain, vascular Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's disease. Disorders of brain blood circulation in case of traumas and intoxications, vascular diseases of brain. Diseases of CNS accompanied by decreasing of intellect, memory. Disorders of psychology in elderly with schizophrenia, depressions. To decrease manifestations of abstinence, alcoholism, drug addiction. In neurology, neurasthenia, migraine, neuralgias, radiculitis. In pediatrics, in case of mental insufficiency. In here you can see the picture of pyracetam, under the trade name nootropil. In here the picture of cinerizine, stugeron. In here cerebrolizine. And other nootropic drugs. And the next pharmacological group is adaptogens. Adaptogens. These are the drugs from Ginseng, Schizandra, Rhodiola, Eleutherococcus, Leusia, Echinacea. We can also mention drug Apilac, 
which is lyophilized powder of natural royal jelly of bees, propolis, bee glue, sticky substances that bees collect from spring buds of trees and modify with their enzymes, and mumio, mountain wax. In here we can see ginseng, in here rhodiola, in here eleutherococcus, in here schizandrum, in here echinacea purpurea maxima. Properties of adaptogens Increase general resistance of the organism towards unfavorable factors. Stimulating action, anti-stress action, anabolic action. Side effects of adaptogens Increase of arterial pressure, disturbance of sleep if administered in the evening time, excitation, psychical dependence. And at the last part of our lecture is examples of MCQs. A patient was treated medically for psychosis for two weeks. Patient's condition improved, but rigidity, tremor and hypokinesia developed. Which of the drugs can cause such complications? These complications are very similar to the side effects which neuroleptics can cause, I mean a kind of artificial Parkinsonism, so the correct answer is aminazine. To eliminate delirium and hallucinations of a patient with schizophrenia, a doctor used aminazine. What is the mechanism of antipsychotic action of the drug? In here you must simply remember the mechanism of action of aminazine, which will be the blockade of adrenergic and dopaminergic processes in the CNS. A patient with manic depressive psychosis and manifestations of depression complains of anxiety and fear. What antidepressant with accompanying psychosedative effect is necessary to prescribe? Of course, from all these drugs, the only one can be used for a kind of depression, which is amitriptyline. A drug shows a strong, fast, but not long-term neuroleptic action. It potentiates the action of analgesic, soporific agents, alcohol. It has anti-shock and anti-emetic action. It belongs to butyrophenone derivates. What is this drug? Please remember that the correct option is droperidol, and you will meet with it few more times in MCQs. An ambulance has delivered to a hospital a patient who tried to commit suicide in the condition of severe depression. The diagnosis is depressive psychosis, the drug of which pharmacological group it is necessary to prescribe to a patient. Once again, depression and the connection with antidepressants, of course. Pharmacological effects of antidepressants are based upon blocking the enzyme that acts as a catalyst for the breakdown of biogenic amines noradrenaline and serotonin in the mitochondria of cephalic neurons. What enzyme takes part in this process? We talked about it today. The enzyme is monoamine oxidase. A doctor has introduced intramuscularly caffeine to young patient in condition of alcohol intoxication. What is the base of experience of such manipulation? So patient has got alcohol intoxication. In this case, intramuscular caffeine injection will provide physiological antagonism. Thank you for the attention.